Welcome again to Alumni Reunion and to one of my favorite parts of the weekend, which is to honor people who have given extraordinary service to Dominican. This is going to be my last alumni reunion, but I know I'm going to stay in touch with many of you and see you in person. And in case you didn't know me, I decided to keep on my regalia so that I would look presidential for you. Uh, this is the regalia I have on because I just recorded our virtual commencement for 2021. We decided to make it as authentic and engaged and as real for those graduates as we possibly could. We're doing the same thing for you this weekend, and I know we'll see each other again in person soon. This award was established in 2006 by the Dominican University Alumni Association in honor of Sister Aquinas. She had 42 years of service, leadership, and teaching here at Dominican. She made an impression on everyone. I have heard so many stories about Sister Aquinas during my time here. The award itself recognizes individuals who distinguish themselves through outstanding service, commitment, and dedication to all Dominican community members. I am very pleased to announce that the recipient of this year's Sister Aquinas Nimitz Award is Marley Norris, Vice President for Advancement in Public Affairs. There is literally no one more deserving. And while many of you may have seen her working with you in advancement, working with alumni affairs, what you may or may not know is that Marley also took on the job of being the lead responder for campus's COVID-19 response. And it turned into an enormous job. Marley was instrumental in realigning responsibilities of key staff so that people who couldn't do their normal work like events ended up helping us with things like testing for COVID. Through that process, she made sure that the campus was safe and we avoided furloughs and layoffs. It's profoundly important. She advocated for student athletes so that they all had a season, even though it was not a normal season. And most importantly, she helped create a healthy, transparent, safe environment for all of us so we could continue and ensure a Dominican education. Like Sister Aquinas, Marley can cut through bureaucracy and confusion and just get things done. And boy, did she get things done this year. We needed it. Someone on cabinet labeled her the COVID queen earlier this year, and she wanted a tiara. We never got her the tiara, but she is getting the Sister Aquinas Nimitz Award, which I hope is a bit more enduring and certainly confers at least as much respect. On behalf of the entire Dominican community, thank you, Marley. We're grateful for your service and it's an honor and a privilege to present you with the 2021 Sister Anne Aquinas Nimitz OP Distinguished Service Award. Thank you. I never had the privilege of meeting Sister Aquinas Nimitz, but I've heard many stories, so I know she was a woman of extraordinary character, and I thank you for the honor of receiving this award in her name. In my work as COVID-19 lead, I've had so much help from so many people, too many to mention here, but I do want to give special acknowledgement to the folks who have helped with testing. We've been testing weekly since August, and that's thanks to people like the nursing school staff and students, the Student Health Center, Student Affairs, Athletics, Institutional Research, and Events Management. Every single person I asked for help said yes, and I think that speaks to the extraordinary community we have here at Dominican. So I thank all of them, and I thank you. My name is Emily Surface, class of 2008. I nominated Kat Skiles, class of 2007, for the Distinguished Alumni Award. I've been inspired by Kat since we graduated by watching her on social media and seeing the work that she's done in Washington, D.C. with Nancy Pelosi, the Human Rights Campaign, and most recently, Beto for America. Her most recent project is a new documentary she's working on where she's traveling around the country, talking to people who have been impacted not only by the isolation of COVID-19, but also are struggling in this current unprecedented American moment. Uh, her work to me really does represent our pillars of community and reflection and service and study as she's been traveling the country to learn these stories and share them with the world. I'm so proud to be a fellow alumna with Kat Skiles, and very happy she's been given this award. Congrats, Kat, you deserve it. Hi, I'm Kat, and I'm so grateful to the Dominican Alumni Association for this Distinguished Alumni Achievement Award. What an honor. Thank you to my former politics professor, Allison Howard, for over a decade of mentorship, and also to the late Father Bob, who taught me that faith is best lived 
in service to others. I couldn't have asked for more out of those who guided me as a young person or out of my undergraduate education as a whole. I chose Dominican because of its highly personalized teaching, academic rigor, and rich community. My success as a video producer in the field of politics has leaned heavily on all that I learned during my time at DU, and I'm grateful to know that my alma mater is nurturing the hearts and minds of the change makers to be. To empower the fight for good as though the future depends on it, because it does. Thank you again. Go Penguins! Hello, Penguin family. My name is Pepe Gonzalez. I am the former alumni board president, current trustee here at Dominican, and a proud, proud alumni of the class of 2002. Uh, it is my great honor and privilege today to let you guys know that this year's winner of the Sister Patricia Lyons Alumni Award is our very own uh, Mary Jane Burke. She is our county superintendent of schools, oversees thousands and thousands of students uh, in Richmond, academic and social, emotional well-being every day. She is just a champion of all of our children here in Marin County. Uh, as you all have experienced the pandemic this year, Mary Jane has truly been a four, just the leader and one of the top champions of making sure that we got our kids back into school as quickly and as safely as possible. Thank you for all you do. You're an inspiration for all the educators here in the county and all the alumni at Dominican. Thank you, congratulations, and uh, I owe you a hug and you owe me a hug. So let me just tell you, um, Dominican University uh, changed my life. I was lucky enough as an 18 year old to get to come to San Rafael, California and what was then called Dominican College. And what I found there was a community of people who were willing to believe in me in ways that I would have never believed in myself. I'm so very, very appreciative. And that led me um, to a career in education, a career of service to the children of others. And Dominican provided all of that foundation. I do want to thank Dominican for the fact that almost 90% of the teachers in Marin County actually have had the benefit of the Dominican education and credential program. Uh, and for that, I want to say thank you, Dominican, for all you've done for so many years. Um, you are the best. Thank you. I'm so honored to present the Outstanding Recent Graduate Award to a past student and friend of mine. She embodies the Dominican ideals of service, community reflection and study in various ways in her life. I nominated Amaya because over the past year, I've been so impressed watching as she's created her own nonprofit organization. She's brought together other Dominican alumni and with an entrepreneurial spirit with a focus on women's empowerment especially women of color. She's helped to provide scholarships for women who want to go back to school or start businesses and to fund projects. Amaya, congratulations on being this year's outstanding recent graduate. I'm incredibly proud of my fe fellow Penguin, proud to call you my friend and so proud of all that you're doing. I know that your work has only just begun and I'm so inspired by all that you are doing. Thank you and congratulations. So first and foremost, I wanted to say thank you so much for this award. You know, I am a proud Dominican alum and what an honor it is to be recognized by an institution that's given me so much. It's amazing how much we continue to support each other and lift one another up. And we've really cultivated a sense of community even outside of our experience at Dominican. And I'm forever grateful for that. So thank you to my Dominican peeps. Um, Y'all know who you are. I think we do such a great job at loving on one another and supporting one another, even from afar. And if this year has taught us anything, it's that connection is really important. 